This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Constable Sean Keoghan with us. You are the Smith Falls Police Service Community Officer. Thank you very much for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for having me again. Uh, you're our new Community Service Officer. And how are things going? They're fantastic. It's great being uh, embedded in the community and working on some really fantastic events coming forward and working uh, with my partners at the Kinsmen, and we're here to promote some uh, great events going on this Excellent. summer. Excellent, and that, we've got Andrew Davis with us. You're the club secretary for our Smith Falls Kinsmen. How long yeah. have you been with the Kinsmen? I've been there with about eight years now. Eight years now. Excellent, excellent. We've got a very important event going on. It's a fun event, but it's very important. It's a bike rodeo. That's right. That's right. So how long have you been doing the bike rodeo? Well, last year was our first year that we actually partnered with the Smith Falls Police Service and uh, did that, and you were at our last one. And so this year we've expanded it and it's bigger and better than ever. Excellent. I mean, it's so important this time of year. Maybe, Sean, you can speak a little bit about it. The weather's getting nice. Your kids are getting out on their bikes. You know what? It's, uh, it's so valuable to have uh, this partnership and putting on this bike rodeo because bike safety uh, goes hand in hand with road safety, right? Mm -hmm. The better the weather, the more cars on the road, more bikes on the road. Uh, having the helmets, understanding the road safety, understanding traffic flow, it's just so key to ensuring that our community is safe and this is such a great event to be partnered with. Absolutely and I mean a lot of it is the, the traffic safety, road safety, that sort of thing, but your bike has to be safe too. Oh for sure and we want to uh, include accident prevention, uh, injury avoidance uh, with this <coughs> bike safety rodeo so we're hoping a lot of parents come out along with the kids and get to chat and we'll have representatives from the uh, emergency services there on hand to answer questions and maybe have a few interesting vehicles the kids can crawl through and take a look at while they're uh, there. Yeah and I, last year I saw them like looking at the the children's bikes as well too making sure the brakes work make sure everything's yep. aligned up. Yeah we'll have a, uh, a mini tune-up uh, uh, facility there and uh, talking with both the kids and uh, parents about you know, bald tires that need to be replaced and loose handlebars, that's all. Newer helmets. And helmets. Uh, last year we found one child with a helmet that came in six different pieces. It was all broken oh. and they used pieces of scotch tape to hold it together. Oh my goodness. And that's not going to give the child any protection at all if they uh, fall not. off the bike or get hit by a vehicle. Absolutely not. No, no, so a helmet is so important. It's key to ensuring they survive any type of crash that you might have, even a small one. Right? So. Absolutely. And I mean, we're not talking just bikes when we're using hel helmets now, too. We're talking about skateboards, everything. The motorized make, scooters, the trikes, you, you name it. So um, the bike rodeo for everybody is going to be Saturday, May 27th. Uh, 10 a.m. to noon is going to be for children uh, 8 and under. And then 1 to 3 is for uh, all children over the age of 8. And this year it's going to be at the Sens rink, the Jerry Lowe rink. Yes, that's Lansdale. right. And we'll have uh, courses laid out inside the actual rink surface itself. And uh, following uh, the rodeo, everyone who's entered will be entered into draws for some terrific prizes. There'll be random draws. And we have uh, three really terrific corporate sponsors this year. Uh, like um, uh, last year, uh, uh, T.A. Morrison, Tamco, has come across with a large cash donation towards prizes. And we have uh, Andres uh, Independent Grocers have kicked in a big cash prize, as have Campbell Trucking. And Campbell's also going to let us have one or two big interesting trucks for the kids to take a close up look at while they're there. So while they're waiting, they yeah, can, they've got for something sure. else to do. They'll well, have photo so. ops. Excellent, Absolutely. excellent. Now let's talk about this. I think this is very important and it's a great little apparatus that children will, will get to put on their helmets. Yeah. It's a... Uh, a little vinyl envelope it comes with a little card and parents are encouraged to fill out the card with emergency information such as who to contact in venom and accident things like uh, the child's allergic to penicillin or bee stings or something and it folds up goes into this little envelope and this gets stuck to the side of the bike helmet and in the event of an accident where the child can't tell you the information uh, emergency services can open this up and have immediate information contact with the uh, the parents. Excellent. This is key because the information goes hand in hand. If somebody finds a child that was in some sort of distress, they might not be able to provide the information to the person that found them. So this way they can be contacting parents, they can contact uh, fire, EMS or the police with pertinent information, allergy information, 
you know, right. it's key nowadays. I mean, I have to walk around with my EpiPen as well. So having this information handy on their helmet, helmet for their safety, helmet for their continued safety, right? Yeah, and it looks like it's reflective as well. Yes, it, it is. is. And we're also finding that uh, construction companies are starting to take an interest in that. Uh, to give these out to their uh, workers who may have medical problems as well. It's a, it's a great little emergency identification tool uh, for anyone. And I mean, anything that can help a child through an emergency or, or a crisis situation yes. is, is a great tool to have. Put them more at ease. That's right. right. That's right. Now, you've got lots going on, too. You've got, uh, you're working together with a Special Olympic Golf Tournament coming up, too. We are. We are. Um, the Special Olympics Golf Tournament, uh, in conjunction with the Kinsmen, uh, is going to be taking place Wednesday, June 14th, 2023. Okay, so that's going to be <clears throat> a four to six man scramble. Uh, there will be posters. They can be seen on Facebook. Um, there is also the opportunity for, um, if you don't want to play in the tournament, there's a $35 meal ticket that is available. So th there's other ways to support other than that. Uh, and for both events, um, I mean, great sponsors already in play. Mm -hmm. Still looking for more sponsors. Still looking for more volunteers for both. Um, community involvement is key to getting these uh, volunteer uh, events uh, to go off smoothly. Um, so if anybody out there is looking for um, information to help volunteer or help sponsor, uh, information at smithfallskinsman.ca uh, is one that can be used or through the Facebook or Smith Falls play, Facebook page, we can assist with that as well. So you need volunteers at the bike rodeo and the Special Olympics. That's uh, correct. Yes, yeah. we do. As well as sponsors. And sponsors. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm sure people are going to be stepping up because they know how important these these sort of things are to our communities too. So yep. that, that's really good. Now you've got coffee with a cop coming up as well. We do. So Police Week is coming up the week of the 15th of May. Uh, on the Wednesday the 17th, uh, Starbucks will be hosting us and we'll be doing coffee with a cop. Uh, projected to start at around 11 a.m. Uh, we'll probably run for two hours. Excellent, excellent. Now, yesterday was Happy First Responders Day, too. Happy First it Responders was. Thank Day. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Is that that's a provincial? Uh, that's a national one. That's a national. So they um, so police, fire, EMS, um, and our other emergency partners. Um, it's a, a day to recognize, right? So. Wow, absolutely. You definitely need the recognition. So thank you for all you do in our our community and in the world. Thank you so <laughs> for much. For sure, for sure. So the bike road, you again, the dates for that. It's uh, Saturday, May 27th. Yeah. And we have a rain date for June 17th. Oh, you do? Uh, but yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> but we're fingers crossed we're going to have nice weather. Oh, there's also another big event for families that, that day too at the, across the street here from uh, our studio. It's a family fun day. So lots to do that day. You can do the bike rodeo. You can do family sure. fun day and uh, get out and, and support our community for lots sure. Lots of community events yeah. and involvement, right? That's right. That's right. So there's no rain date. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. And uh, again, our special Olympic golf court, uh, tournament is June 14th. That's correct. Again, now, how do people get a hold of you? So in terms of the golf tournament, uh, that can be done through Facebook uh, as well. There's phone numbers within uh, the poster that is put up uh, on Facebook and through the Kinsman site. Uh, if anybody's looking at um, a phone number, we can be 613-880-4434, uh, and that will be for Beep. And for Judy, it'll be 430 uh, if anybody's looking for email addresses, they can be found on the poster. You can find that on um, the Special Olympics Facebook page as well as the Kinsman and Smith Falls Police. And anybody that knows our local athletes, they will recognize our athletes on the poster. We've got Danielle and Jesse on the front. I believe Trevor's on there too. And then uh, we've got some group shots of our... Uh our swimmers and our bocce ball tournaments, I believe. Our wonderful Special we, Olympians. We just did a swimming tournament last week and uh, we got some amazing medals came back from uh, from the tournament in Orleans. So they're doing amazing. They're going that's off fantastic. bowling this weekend. So yep, that's great. They've been busy. They're representing Smith Falls really well, so we need to help them too. They, they represent very well in terms of the, uh, the sports that they participate in, as well as in the community. I saw a bunch of them out at the Smith Falls Bears game the other day. Yes, so yes, for sure. Big shout out. That's right. Fantastic. Go Bears, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming here, Constable Sean Kioga and Andrew Davis, coming here for the bike rodeo and for our Special Olympic Golf Tournament and Coffee with a Cop on May 17th. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you very much, Kathy. Appreciate it. And